next question on loyalty to your dojo. Is it okay to seek out another jujitsu gym if it suits your needs, training goals, logistics, price? Norman asks about loyalty. There's many ways you can look at that. I've had people say, look, you know, I'm paying my dues, I can do what I want. And I guess they're right. I mean, if you're paying your dues, you can do what you want. But on the other hand, you do want to be loyal and you want your team to be loyal to you. I think that's very important. The other extreme is don't, don't talk to anyone who's not your, your coach. That's an extreme, okay? I've seen both extremes. And the middle is, I think it's the best, the most healthy. I don't think it's wrong to go and train somewhere else every once in a while. I don't think it's wrong. Uh, in Brazil, it's, they're a little more harsh on that. But I'm talking every once in a while. If you're traveling, whatever. You should, you, should train, you should train wherever you want if you're traveling. So that's the main thing when you travel. In your town, you want to be careful uh, training with the, the rival school. That, that's true. Now, you might have a few friends who train that school. You guys can train on the side. That's not, that's not a big deal. It's a weird thing that most coaches won't, won't admit. It's a status thing. It's almost like... Like, not getting cheated on. It's, it's just, oh, my student went to that school in front of everyone. That's more the thing for some reason. I don't personally care uh, myself. I really don't. Um, one thing I, I, it would brush me the wrong way is if I, if I was someone was showing my specific techniques to another school, that would kind of annoy me. That, that would, okay? You do want your coach to believe in you. You want to believe in your coach. And if, if, if you feel, and I'm just being a little objective here, if you feel that your current environment is not good for you, it's not conducive for, for your style, then you might, you might want to go somewhere else if, if that's the case. But what, what do you believe in? Be loyal to what you believe in. I think that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. If you believe in someone, then there's a reason to be loyal, right? If you don't believe in something, don't, don't, don't be two-faced about it. I mean, say I'm here to do this. If you don't believe in something, no reason to be loyal. Not, not saying to be a jerk, that, that, not saying to be without class, saying be loyal to someone that believes in you and believe in them back. And I think that's very important. And if you have that case, I think it's fine to train with friends around town. Be careful if you train with a rival gym. Probably don't do that. As far as I'm concerned, my, my, my students can train anywhere in the world. They, they can go across town and train. I don't really have any enemies in the community. They can train anywhere they want, actually. But I've seen it as something on the, on the coach's shoulder if you train too much with the rival gym. That's more the thing. In Brazil, it's different, by the way. Brazil, they're, they're way more... You don't, you don't train with anyone else from your, than from your academy, so it's also cultural. My opinion, train where you want, be respectful. When you're traveling, that's when you actually get out training with other people.